ngayon, okay, use the law of detachment to draw conclusion. Ito yung law of detachment. If the, condi if the conditional statement is true, and then statement P is true here, then Q is true. So first, meron tayong conditional statement. Then another statement, uh, P, na parallel dito sa conditional statement, na pareho sila na true. So makakonclude tayo na based on the given Q. Okay, ito number one. If two lines are parallel, then they do not intersect. Lines J and K are parallel. So therefore, lines J and K do not intersect. Number two. If there is lightning, then it is not safe to play outside. Okay, Peter saw lightning. So Peter cannot play outside. Number five. Uh, number three, if you get an average grade of 95 to 100, then you will be in the honor roll. Your average is, your average grade is 95.25. So, nasa loob siya ng dito, bracket. So, you will be in the honor roll. Number four, if a figure is a triangle, then the sum of the angle is 180. So, ito, triangle. So, ang sum of the angles, this angle, and this angle, this angle is 180. So, PQR is a triangle. So, therefore, angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is 180. So, kung lagyan natin dito ng P, Q, and R. So, angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is 180. And number 5. If the sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees, then the angles are complementary. Okay, angle X is equal to 30 degrees and angle Y is equal to 60 degrees. So, angle X plus angle Y is equal to 90. So, angle X and angle Y are complementary. Number 6. If two circles have the same center, then they are concentric. So, ito yun. Dalawang circle. Well, the centers of two circles is point A. So, meron tayong point A dito. Point A. So, ito yung circle na maliit. Tapos, may yung circle na malaki. Ganun, circle ito. So, dalawang circle, yung point nila is uh, A. So, therefore, the circle A, circles A, are concentric. Kasi dalawang circle ito, maliit at saka malaki. So, ang conclusion natin, circles A is Circles A are concentric. So, dalawang circle ito. Circle, okay, circle A and circle A. So, concentric ito. Number 7. If a figure has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. Okay, so a polygon that has four sides is a quadrilateral. So ito na figure. Ito ay polygon. So square has four sides. So therefore, square is a quadrilateral. Number eight. If two integers are odd, then the sum is even number. So, kung i-add kung i-add natin yung dalawang integers na odd number, example ito, 1 plus 3. 
equals 4. 5 plus 7 equals 12. So, ito, add integers. Yung sum niya is uh, even number. So, x plus y is equal to even number. So, the number x and y are add integers. So, x plus y is equal to even number. Or, the sum of x and y is an even number. Number 9. If the score in math exam is 50 and above, then you pass the exam. Okay, so dito, Rick scored 68 in the exam. So therefore, Rick, Rick passed the exam. Okay, number 10. Okay, and points, if points lie on a line, then they are collinear. So example, dito, meron tayong line, ganino. Tapos ito mga point, ito sa line. So, ang tawag sa kanila are collinear. So, ngayon, points X, Y, Z are in line M. So, dito meron tayong line M. Ito, line M. No? Tapos, point X, Y, Z. So, therefore, X, Y, Z are collinear.